Spingineer. Now, as fun as that is, that's actually not what you do with it. Let me show you. Everything is nicely sorted by color and piece type. We have some building pieces here that are called beams, a drill, and some other miscellaneous parts like welding rods and chain pieces. Let's see what the boss wants us to create today. Ooh, a tower bridge. Suspension tower bridge. Let's power up the drill. The welding drill requires four D batteries not included. Then just place a welding rod into the end of the drill, turn it on, and you're ready to build. As you're building your structure, remember that there are four beam connections. There is the side to side weld, end to side weld, side to groove weld, and end to groove weld. All right, let me let you in on a little secret here. See this welding rod at the end of the drill here? When I press the trigger, it spins really, really fast. And it's that friction that uh, causes these two pieces to weld together. So this uh, rod actually will melt, and you'll see that right now. All right, see that little black spot right there? That is actually from this guy, so. That's how this whole bridge is constructed. Pretty cool. When the welding rod becomes too short to work with, simply change it out with a new one. The first step in creating this tower bridge is forming one of the sides of the tower. As you go along, it's important to take your time and line the pieces up correctly before welding. Don't forget to make two of these bad Larrys. Once that's done, you'll assemble the rest of the bridge, including some support beams to hold everything in place. Well friends, this is it. This is the completed su suspension tower bridge. Uh, as you can see, it's quite tall, uh, over 20 inches. Uh, it took me about five hours to make, uh, took a little break for lunch, and came back to it, and here it is. So yeah, this is definitely a set for serious builders. Um, it does take a little bit and does take some patience, but once you're done, you have this really cool completed model. And you also don't have to just stick to this one. There are a few uh, different bridge designs on the back that you can also build, uh, or you can use your imagination and come up with your own. And I know what you're thinking, can you take it apart so that you can make those other models? The answer is yes, yes you can. You just simply snap off the pieces and you're ready to go again. They're good as new. Just put some new batteries in this and you're ready to weld again. So uh, that's all the time we have for today for Spingineer, but we will see you in the next video. Bye. I wonder how long it takes to take this thing apart. Not too long.